I'm one of the most copied urologists on YouTube. And I love it because every copycat is just more proof. You can always copy, but you can never match. I tell men what most doctors won't. And today I'm going to tell you something that could literally save your life. It doesn't start in a hospital. It starts in your bedroom with your penis. Those morning erections you used to get or used to ignore, when they stop showing up, it's not just age, it's your body setting off a silent alarm for your heart. Ignore it and you might regret it. Welcome to Euro Channel, where men's health is explained with honesty, clarity and a little bit of humor because, let's face it, some of these topics are easier to talk about when you're smiling. Nighttime erections are one of nature's most sophisticated health monitoring systems. Think of them like your body's nightly system update. They happen quietly, without your permission and without any effort on your part. Until they don't. And when that silence starts, it's not just about performance. It could be the first sign of something much bigger. Let's get into the science and don't worry, no pop quiz at the end. During REM sleep, healthy men experience three to five episodes of what's called nocturnal penile tumescence. Yes, that's the real term. If you ever want to impress or confuse someone at a dinner party, drop it into a conversation. Each episode typically lasts 25 to 35 minutes and happens about every 90 minutes during the night. And here's the part that blows most men's minds. This isn't about what you are dreaming. It's a completely independent system. Your penis at night is basically a high-performance sports car getting taken out for a spin. During the day, it's stuck in traffic, stress, sitting too much, lousy posture. But at night, your body hits the open road. The engine, that's your vascular system, gets revved up. Fresh, oxygen-rich blood floods in, stretching and nourishing tissue that might otherwise stay idle. And the conductor of this midnight orchestra? Nitric oxide. It's like the master key to your vascular system, unlocking smooth muscle cells in your blood vessel walls so they can relax and let blood in. Your brain releases it along with testosterone during REM sleep. While that's happening, your parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and repair mode, takes over. This is the part of your nervous system that does all the behind the scenes maintenance. It checks nerve signals, tests vascular responsiveness and makes sure all the complex chemistry between hormones, blood flow and neural control is still in balance. Mini hook alert! Your penis is the canary in the coal mine and nighttime erections, that's its daily song. When the song stops, don't worry about your sex life, worry about your heart. You can live without one for a while, but not the other. Let me give you two real world cases. A 52 year old engineer came to me, not because of sexual problems, but because his wife had noticed his morning erections were gone. He felt fine, no chest pain, no fatigue, but tests revealed early stage cardiovascular disease. The only reason we caught it early was because of that missing signal. The second case, a 45 year old teacher, his morning erections had become inconsistent over several months. Tests showed sleep apnea and prediabetes. Both conditions disrupt the REM cycles and vascular function needed for healthy nocturnal erections. This is the core medical principle. The same tiny blood vessels in your penis are structurally similar to the coronary arteries in your heart. When heart disease starts, these smaller vessels are often the first to show signs. Think of them as the frontline sensors. And when they stop working right, it's often years before chest pain or other obvious symptoms appear. Research is clear. Erectile dysfunction increases your cardiovascular disease risk by about 40% and often the first sign is disruption of nocturnal erections long before you're aware of anything else. Now for another mini hook. You know how people say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? Well, what happens in REM sleep doesn't stay in REM sleep. It shows up in your mornings 
and you'd better be paying attention. But this isn't just about your heart. Nighttime erections, or the lack of them, can reveal issues with diabetes, hormonal imbalances, sleep disorders, depression, even early side effects of certain medications. Sleep apnea disrupts the REM cycles you need. Diabetes damages small vessels and nerves. Low testosterone, often an early sign of metabolic syndrome, can weaken the hormonal triggers entirely. Here's the beauty of this system. It's free, it's non-invasive, and it runs every single night without you doing a thing. All you have to do is notice the results. You're getting a comprehensive health check delivered to your consciousness every morning. And ignoring it? That's like ignoring smoke coming from your car engine because the car still starts. So what should you do? First, don't panic about occasional changes. Stress, alcohol, poor sleep, certain meds, they can all cause a temporary drop in morning erections. But if you notice a consistent absence over weeks or a slow decline over months, that's when you see a doctor. And be specific, mention timing, frequency, other symptoms, medications, stress and sleep quality. This helps us figure out whether it's a circulation problem, a hormonal issue, a nerve issue, or something else entirely. The good news, when we catch problems early, we can usually fix them. Cardiovascular exercise improves blood flow. Better sleep hygiene boosts REM cycles. Stress management restores hormonal balance. A better diet can reverse early metabolic dysfunction. And yes, if the problem's in the bedroom, we can work on that too. Mini hook break. Morning erections are basically nature's free health insurance policy. But like all insurance, you have to read the fine print and act when it changes. So here's my challenge to you. For the next month, pay attention. Not obsessively, just enough to notice patterns. And if you spot something off, don't just Google it at 2 a.m. Get a proper medical evaluation. If this has been helpful, subscribe to Euro Channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode where we'll talk about the fascinating connection between exercise and erectile function. Trust me, some of the research will surprise you. Your body is your most honest doctor. It whispers before it screams. Nighttime erections are one of those whispers. Listen closely, because if you do, you're not just preventing disease, you're taking back control over your health. If this video helped you think twice, subscribe to Euro channel, hit the bell, and tell me in the comments what your body might have been trying to tell you. Because together, we learn how to listen. Always copied, never matched.